two, one, and lift off. If I were RG3, I'd be on the phone with my agent daily trying to scout out a landing spot. I don't think there's room for him here. I think Hugh Jackson, when the minute he said, I need to look at more film at the end of the year, told you everything you need to know about RG3's future here. I have a landing spot for him. If I were RG3, I would be going back to Waco, Texas, and appearing on Fixer Upper more. He was on the show with Chip and Joanna Gaines. You guys watch Chip and Joanna, right? It's like the best show on television. They're a married couple. They fix up houses. Uh -huh. Chip's really crazy. RG3 came back and helped them build a house. He should go build houses full time with those guys. He'd be great because I don't know where he's going to play quarterback. Well, that's very dismissive of you to make a joke about a guy's future. He but was it's good. not unexpected from you, I must say. It's a great show. Hey, listen, the thing about him is that nobody was lined up last year to get him when, when the earth moved for Hugh Jackson. I know he believes that he, uh, that he impressed this year when he was given the opportunity. At least that's the way he made it sound at the end of the year. I don't think the rest of the NFL agrees. No, I, I, I don't know where he w is going to go. Because, I mean, it's going to be a team, again, like the Browns, who literally have no options. And he's such a wild card. He can't stay healthy. And what's his top end right now? I don't know what it is, but I don't think he can be here, certainly not as the starter, and not here as the backup guy. Cody Kessler's your backup guy.